Biogas is made up of methane, carbon dioxide, hydrogen sulfide, and moisture. And really you're taking organic matter, running it through an anaerobic digester, using anaerobic bacteria, and in essence you're using a fermentation process. It's very similar to our stomach. You're taking the food, using the bacteria, the bacteria eats the food, and in essence it burps methane gas. The methane gas is the majority of biogas. Biogas is created from biodegradable materials, utilizing food waste streams, manure, sewage, municipal waste, material from plants, and then it's also created naturally in landfills, and that's called landfill capture for collecting the gases. Biogas facilities, they're all very similar, but they're also very unique. They all have different inputs as far as the feed. They all have a slightly different process and they all have different outputs. Some want the electricity, some want to generate heat, steam, and or some want to create just the gas to be reused or to offset the natural gas. Food processing facilities, pulp and paper mills, wastewater treatment plant facilities, uh, municipal waste, landfills, and independent facilities with feedstock agreements. Key components of a biogas system include the delivery system for the feedstock, the anaerobic digester itself with an auxiliary heating system, the gas, gas capture and cleanup system, and then the delivery system for the biogas to its end use. A biogas facility can help organizations who have a waste problem that they're looking to solve. It can help organizations who have a desire to be energy independent or reduce their reliance on uh, external energy sources. It can also help organizations who desire to incorporate sustainability into their organizational culture.